Hi, I'm Noni Cream from Noni Cream Color Prevails. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Professionally, I'm referred to as a color mixologist. What really drove my career forward was my ability to speak this language called color. I was 22 years old and I fell madly in love with this very, very inappropriate British kid who was three years younger than I was. He was gonna move back to London to be a rock star. I mean, duh, of course. And so who is gonna not gonna join that journey? So I, there I am with my freshly minted college degree and I follow this boy to London. Fury of the parents, ah! Followed quickly by financial exclusion by the parents. We are now 22, penniless, visa-less, and living in London with three boys in a band. Oh dear. In America, we have these little nail shops, on one on every corner, and in London, it didn't exist. In England, it didn't exist. So I thought, well, hang on a minute. What if I learned to do nails, and maybe I could you know, do nails for cash under the table, and that could be a little way of making some quick money. So I took my last 200 bucks, and I went to night school, and my very first ever beauty business was standing outside the subway station every morning with a picnic basket full of nail supplies and then I would go and sit in the park and I would wait. A couple hours later my phone would start to ring and by lunchtime me and my picnic basket would be going in and out of all of the offices in the financial district in London doing desk side manicures for cash. friend starts to date a very well-known and well-respected London beauty agent who sends me out on high fashion photo shoots. The first shoot I ever did in my life was so terrifying, was a Gucci ad campaign shot by Mario Testino. That was my first ever job. And suddenly I find myself going from like the street kid with the basket, doing my office ladies, to doing Kate Moss, doing Stella Tennant, working with David Bailey, Mario Testino, I mean Rankin, like all these incredible famous people from the, the, the fashion world. I grew up on those sets. Uh, that's really where I came to live at this intersection of fashion and beauty. And that is um, an intersection where I've remained for, for the entire rest of my career. That segues into the desire, passionate desire, for my own nail polish range. Followed by a very fortuitous introduction to a young woman starting a makeup and nail polish range. We partner, Butter London is born. Butter London grows and grows and grows and becomes acquired and the birth of color prevails happens. What I know about nails is easily applied to the rest of the makeup realm, especially with regard to being able to trend forecast color and understand what colors people are going to want to buy, not just today, but a year from now. Because a huge part of my job is trend forecasting and having the foresight to think like, what are we gonna be wearing next Christmas? It's, it's metallics, by the way. We're gonna be wearing metallics, by the way. I'm just, just saying. <laughs>
Um, the collections, it's very, very exciting. Not being the fancy girl in the front row wearing an expensive dress and sort of watching the show, being inside the show, being a part of the development of this whole look that you see coming down the runway, that's where I need to be. That's where I live. People will say, what are you doing here? I, you, you own the company. Why are you under the table? What are you doing? And you know, <laughs> just part of it is that I'm a massive control freak and I can't stop myself. I am a huge believer in the words, lead by example. If you want to tell a story about um, a kid with a picnic basket full of nail files who became an entrepreneur, who became a company owner, who became a founder of a successful company, you need to live those words. The world is full of products, all products, and you have to be able to answer the question, why? And if you can't answer the why, really answer the why, then don't do it. For me, with Color Prevails, the why is I want to bring genuine prestige cosmetics, not cosmetics that are pretending to be expensive, genuine, expensive, beautiful formulations to the mass market, number one. Number two, I want to put it in packaging that has a genuine point of difference, ergonomics that are going to guarantee you're going to paint better. Three, I want the formulations to be safe, human-friendly formulations. They should be pregnancy safe, they should be kid safe, don't eat them. And finally, color. You know, my passion is color, mixing color, making color, understanding color. So all of those things combined give me a why. My mission is to bring a prestige, niche beauty brand to the drugstore, plop it down, and have people walk in and feel like they're standing in the middle of a department store or a very expensive beauty retailer while they're picking up their toothpaste and their toilet paper. My, my hope for my customer is that I will become a part of her life and a part of the way that she tells stories about herself. Um, today I'm telling a really specific story about myself. I'm wearing a big red lip and a, and a winged eye. Tomorrow I'll wear a smoky eye and no lip. So the way that we put makeup on is how we tell a story about how we're feeling that day or who we want to be or who we aspire to be. I want to have that experience and that interaction with my customers. I want to be a part of her life.